Hi guys, this is Sara Vanhamäki. I'm a singer and a vocal coach and I also sing in the band Fear of Domination. This video is a tutorial of the song Dead Weight by Fear of Domination and it was requested by one of my singing students and also a fan of Fear of Domination. So I thought it would be nice to make this video in English uh, so that all the other fans also out outside Finland could understand what I'm talking about and maybe get some tips in rehearsing this song. Alright, let's start with the structure of this song. So Dead Weight is uh, pretty easy with the structure. We have first the intro where, I, where I'm doing the vocals, the this one, and then we have a verse, we have a chorus, second verse, uh, chorus, C part, and then comes the chorus, final chorus. Ah. Most of you might know that we have two singers in this band. We have Saku Solin, who does in this song a little bit of those clean vocals in the beginning and uh, those gr distorted growls. And I'm also doing the melodies and distorted shout growls, whatever you might want to describe them. So I'm gonna go along with the song like part by part, so let's start with the intro and the melody. The most important thing I want you to do here is not to listen to my sound, but just focus on the notes that I'm going to uh, sing to you. Of course we are gonna th go through the volume changes and stuff like that, so if you wanna imitate me but I strongly recommend that you do what you do best, so uh, don't try to copy me too much. I recommend that you take a paper, so if you are not accustomed to like use a piano or guitar uh, in, in, in learning uh, new melodies of a song, uh, it's much more easier to get the hang of where your voice is like moving around so you don't have to just guess like am I going ah, there or uh, there so let's start by writing down the notes of the intro melody uh, first I want you to find the middle C from your piano sounds about this and the first intro vocals they happen from uh, if you take the one octave higher the C and then lower it down by half step we have a, a let's say because you can call this note as an H or a B so uh, I'm gonna talk talk I'm gonna say that it's a B because usually they use H in a classical music so we are not doing classical now so we take the B which is the starting note for the intro melody the ha. then we're gonna take the second note where I'm descending it's the uh, F sharp okay now we have the B the starting note the second note is an F sharp then we head to A then we head to G back to F sharp then to D and then to E, to F sharp, and then to D, and then to C sharp. This is the first uh, first line of the intro. So we have the Because uh, someone asked me like how are you able to do that so just do this is the this is like the most important part because you have to do this melody line the way that fits your sound and what feels comfortable for you so you have to uh, choose the volume and the sound according to your instrument so that's why I wanted to emphasize the importance that don't try to mimic me because it might not suit your voice uh, so the most important thing is to start the note B 
uh, well, I'm doing. I, I'm also varying this uh, if I'm if I'm on a gig or because uh, of course you can hear the uh, original version, the studio version. That is all. It's always gonna be the same. But in live shows, I'm I'm varying the start. So whatever you wanna do, just start the first note in what feels the best. Like it can be. something with a with a consonant in the in the beginning like la 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 like la but uh, it's easier to start with this soft uh, sweet sound like ha ah, if you would be like oh my god i'm so in love ha ah. then we descend descend to the f sharp ha ah, la and you can uh, i think i'm also doing it in the i have to check yeah yeah okay yeah yeah all right i was doing i was listening to the studio version i'm doing like something like this it's very it sounds very tight because i have to tell you a secret uh we were in the studio and then i just had to sing something and this came out and voila so uh, that's why i'm also improvising here and that's why I don't imitate me haha <laughs> Because I'm not, I'm changing the 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 outcome all the time at every gig. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the volume increase from the. Hello. Uh, you can try it. if if this feels difficult for you, then just stick around here and try to find like the what feels best. Like if you start the the lighter. Hello. Um, it feels like I'm doing the la thing because it feels good. But if you have something else then that feels better, then just use it like hello or something. Change the vowel or anything. Uh, then we are heading to hello. I'm doing this the vocal break thing over there. Uh, so it's like a uh, swift change from uh, light light volume to ha, ha. like I'm increasing the volume and then ha, and then reducing it very fast. Uh, if you listen to Granberry's Zombie, there's also the in your head, in your head, it's this kind of going on. So that's what I'm doing there. It's called the vocal break. So where was I? So hello, yeah, and I'm using this kind of a dramatic, uh, big voice. So it gives it like well, you have heard the song. It's very um, it's very big. So that's why I'm also uh, doing this dramatic voice. Uh, because if I would do it like in a softer way, it might not sound as powerful uh, as it sounds now. Like so, you know, this is the difference between uh, adding the volume and adding the dramatic dra drama to the so singing. Uh, but it requires also a, a little bit more support, so um, that's why I wanted to bring out the difference between if you do it in a light volume, it might not sound as powerful as when you do a little bit more volume. So the volume level of the ho is quite loud, like when you are hoy doing this shouting kind of stuff, like hey you there, oh my god, ho yeah. Making the, I'm also making the color of the voice quite dark. So I might also, if I would like to do it in a light style, I would do it like. But that's like okay, no. So now we have the first round of the intro. So the second round changes a bit it goes a little bit higher so let's go through the notes first so we have the b then we have the f sharp 
Then we have this uh, uh, change to D2, then C, C sharp 2, then A, B, A, B, a little bit of pause if you want to have it, then again B, and then minor, uh, you have to like uh, diminish the, visit the B, B, never mind. You get the idea. So you go here, from here, and then to C sharp. Haha. <laughs> About the volume and other other things in this uh, round, we have the same start with the light head voicey sound. <laughs> then we go to the F sharp. <laughs> then we have this a little bit. Um, longer jump to the D2 uh, D2 note so if this uh, the, if the distance is too much for you then I recommend that you shorten the the distance between the notes like start first like And the muscles do the work uh, bit by bit and not try to for you, force yourself in to do the whole jump at once. I'm doing here a little bit of like change in the head voice and uh, you might say mixed voice because I'm using this light to light volume and also the middle middle uh, volume middle volume. So in in practice it's like <laughs> check what I'm doing on the studio version so I'm using the the middle and the light top volume like around here I'm changing to the chest voice and all adding the volume so I'm doing the a little it's uh, quite loud and then I am continuing with this volume to the just finished the uh, we panic thing there let's see
just like um, doing it like we I just finished the we panic if you want to also sing everything then you have to make these choices because there are a lot of these crossovers coming up uh, like in the chorus that I'm going to show you so that's why uh, uh, actually we can already go to the chorus so uh, the chorus uh, there's a lot of stuff going on there and to be frank uh, it's impossible for one singer to sing it uh, of, of course I have tried but if you if, if I would like to uh, survive a show and do these vocals in a healthy way then it's it, no so what we do with Saku is that we have divided the parts Saku starts the chorus with the I can't feel the world staring right back at me then I'm continuing when they are waking all the dead faces in my dreams we are all the things you might fear and disappear this is my part then I'm taking a pause uh, and Saku uh, continues uh, with the so they will haunt your dreams so that I have enough time to do the make you lose your mind what we are doing there the distorted vocals if you I, I recommend if you haven't checked out complete vocal technique uh, then I recommend you to check it out the complete vocal institute sites they have all the information about different kind of uh, voice effects and or if you are interested of um, me teaching you how to do those effects then I'm more than happy to teach those to you so uh, I will leave my contacts below haha <laughs> but what we are doing with Saku with our voices is uh, this distorted well it's called the effect is called distortion but I think we are also using a little bit of uh, growl and stuff like that I think we are com combining like different uh, different kind of effects but all in all the basic uh, effect we are using is a distortion uh, so to create distorted sound you have to have a lot of twang in your voice so if you want to go through the chorus uh, and now we are at the first part uh, the I can't feel the world staring right back at me I would recommend you to start with this uh, nasty kind of a uh, speaking voice maybe lower down the tempo of the song because you have the one one 145 beats per minute so I'm gonna demonstrate you the distortion uh, right away it might go south so uh, this is how it sounds like I can feel the world staring right back at me when they are waking all the dead faces in my dreams we are all things you will fear and disappear so they will haunt your dreams I recommend that you drop it down like to 120 beats per minute like it's much more easier so you can like start do the get the lyrics first like I can't feel the world staring right back at me when they are waking all the dead faces in my dreams and then when you are sure of the lyrics then you can add the effect I can't feel the world staring right back at me when they are waking all the dead faces in my dreams in, in distortion we have a melody line like you can sing uh, notes with distortion because we have different kind of uh, effects of the voice so you have those that are uh, without a tone and those you can use with a with a melody line so distortion is very useful if you want to have this very uh, aggressive sound uh, in the in the lack of a better term in in Finnish uh, from translated to Finnish to uh, from Finnish to English it's called pocket lips lips <laughs> but I don't know uh, you have uh, you have your larynx and you have your vocal folds there so just above vocal folds you have those pocket lips 
that uh, if you use enough twang, uh, they start to hit one another and cause this very distorted sound. So, uh, so that is what we are doing. Of course, there are like a lot of else. A lot of, um, of course, there are other effects happening also. So uh, it requires also, like if you want to practice this, then I would recommend a uh, short short uh, training periods uh, start with with the letter a just like to grasp the idea of distorted vocals like to start doing the ah, 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 this kind of a uh, what's a witch sound like, ah, 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 ah. you can pretend to be a witch or very annoyed little animal like ah, 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 ah. and then just in this very twangy sound you you just add a little bit more uh, support uh, to create enough pressure to make the sound it's important to remember that uh, when you are because this is something that you use a lot of volume so remember also to open your mouth so of course you are able to do the <laughs> with your mouth closed but it's <laughs> It's uh, much more easier to ah, 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 do this. If this practice causes any pain or discomfort, please don't continue it because uh, it required for me also to grasp the technique for a year. So it's not like I'm, I wasn't bored with it. So I, when I joined Fear of Domination, I had to learn it and I, it took me a year to grasp the whole concept. So. Nowadays it's much more fluent, but take your time in learning the effect and don't rush it. If we go, if we go forward in the chorus, um, we have the divided sections between me and Sakul. I have those couple of clean parts in the in the chorus. The make you lose your mind. I have noticed that in live shows uh, it's easier for me to like. Uh, lighten up the volume of my voice so if i'm coming from the let's see i want to get the song the parts are divided but I have noticed that when I'm in a live show it's much more easier for me to lighten up the first note in the clean vocal so when I'm I'm starting with the make you lose your mind uh, I don't know how does it sound but for me it's technically more easier so um, if you are able to do it in a middle volume then just go along I recommend that whatever feels the best then just do it it's so hard uh, to remember all the parts. Maybe I'll just do the whole fucking chorus to you guys. Uh, so. When they are waking all the dead faces in my dreams, Wolves things, you'll appear and disappear. a lot of pressure when I'm on the move uh, on stage it's much more easier to control the pressure uh, but when I'm sitting down like this it's uh, much more uh, difficult but yeah that was the, the my parts when I'm when I'm on a live show so what I said in the beginning you can also try to rehearse all the things uh, in like a, if you want to do everything but just that you know that you don't have to yeah, so uh, the second verse, because I was ending the chorus with the clean Make you lose your mind So I don't have the time to start the second verse So that's why Saku is doing the first part 
Feet is going wet for showing what the fuck I don't know. So in in the second verse, Saku is also lifting up his beat is growing with a showing overwhelmed, still searching for the signs. Uh, but in his manly voice. Uh, uh, and I'm doing the harmonies. Uh, in the live version, uh, I'm I'm coming along in the part of I'm coming along. Beat is growing, weapon showing over well. I'm still searching for the side. Then comes the war is here. the same uh, instructions as in the chorus that take your time in grasping the effect first and then add up the speed when it feels comfortable. So that was like the second verse, then comes the chorus, but in, in this uh, second chorus we have the slice the wind, let the colors come on now. They are uh, the B slice the wheel. Then we go to C sharp two, and then to D the two. The words were I slice the wheel. Let the colors come out now. In in live shows, I'm doing actually only the B note. So I'm doing the slice the wheel. Let the because I have uh, often too much pressure uh, when I'm performing so if I'm going to the uh, to this C sharp and the D in the in the in, in live shows uh, I have had this uh, thing that I my um, voice cracks or it sounds shit so that's why I don't want to do it I want my sound and my voice to sound full and good so that's why i'm sticking around here on the b so uh, i'm able to open my voice and well uh, voice and the vowels more uh, but if you are able to do the to to rise let the this one slice the wheel let the colors come on now let the this this one then go ahead but uh, just that you know what I'm doing <laughs> and in the studio version after this comes the the <laughs> Still, I see the rage hidden from the light of day. Fear to the words, sharp as nice, given form to cover the lies. Saku is doing these uh, on the live shows, so I got time to like uh, even my breath. And uh, in the in the studio, uh, I was also doing the backups to create more ton tonality and uh, sound to the to this part. But then comes again the slice the wheel and the colors come on now. And we are heading to <laughs> This place won't end the pain What do you think is the only way? Don't be the easy prey to make it go away Then comes the To make it go away Just let me go away I don't want to go away uh, So The same thing goes here As before Find your way to Make, make, it, make the screams feel comfortable and after this comes the C part, where you have the same uh, vocal melodies as in the intro that we went uh, in the beginning of this video. So you can use that to match it here. And uh, then comes the chorus. So, best of luck in managing the song. Uh, I think I have covered uh, everything 
that happens in the song and if you have more questions in specific then just please send me a message I will uh, put my contacts below and yeah hopefully this was a good video and if you have any other hopes or suggestions on what kind of a, a tutorial you would like me to do then just comment below all right see you